Hey guys, Solman here. Welcome to Let's Play Anti-Chamber. So, this is an adventure indie title, uh, recently released on Steam, about a week ago, in fact, from the time of this recording. Uh, it was developed by a single man, Alexander Bruce, and supposedly it's supposed to be a lot like Portal and Portal 2. Now, from what I've seen in the video that got me interested in this game, it is a little bit like those games, but at the same time it's not. I'm not going to go into too much detail right now because, well, I'll show you in about 10 seconds here. So here we are in the, uh, the antechamber. This is the starting room. This is where, this is pretty much the hub of the whole thing. And basically the goal is to reach this exit here. And to get to this exit, we need to go through the labyrinth. So we only have one room unlocked right now, but as we explore the anti-chamber, or whatever the whole area is called, uh, we'll find more rooms, we'll find puzzles to solve, and ultimately we need to find all of these, I think. So here we have the first one which is given to us. Every journey is a series of choices, the first is to begin the journey. So that's our first choice right there. So there's that. Uh, we got this whole wall we have to fill up still, and in case it was not obvious before why I kind of have to hurry a bit here, there is a time limit. I'm not kidding, they actually give you 90 minutes to solve the game, and I'm pretty sure if you quit the game prematurely, or if you actually take all 90 of those minutes, your save file is automatically erased. So yeah, um, we should probably get started. I'm gonna say it right now, there is... This is a blind run, mostly. I've seen some of the puzzles, but not all of them. And even then, you'll find out more stuff as you go along. So, as you can see, uh, return to the anti-chamber, hold to quit, da -da -da -da. here's all the controls. Let's get started. So, here we are in the first room. It's already a lot more colorful. And we have to jump. Now, there is a passage behind us, but I'll save that for later, because I really don't know what's there. So, let's jump. Whoa! Uh... Well, we fell quite a ways, didn't we? So, yeah, uh, there's going to be a lot of falling in this game, and just ending up places you don't mean to go. So we've already found our first thing here. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress, and it's a sheep. So there's a porthole here, and we got this nice little neon tunnel thing here. Let's go through it. What do we have here? Some paths are clearer than others. Alright. Okay. We got red stairs and we got blue stairs. Well, I like blue, so let's go up the blue stairs. Aha! Around this bend and, uh... What? What do you say? A choice may be sim as simple as going left or going right. Well, I guess the blue stairs just loop, so let's go down the red stairs. What do we have here? The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. Oh no, I'm stuck in an infinite loop. It doesn't matter if I go red or blue, I'm just gonna keep looping back to this place. Whatever shall I do? Let's go backwards. Aha, puzzle solved. So, yeah, here we go. When you return to where you have been, things are always as remembered. Aw, oh, the poor guy, his house is on fire. So, yeah, this is a puzzle that I saw in the demo here. Uh, well, not the demo, but the video that got me interested in this game. And he, the guy who was playing, got stuck on that level for the longest time, that one puzzle. Now, you might also notice that this does not make a lot of sense at all. It looks like I should be just backtracking to where I was, but I'm totally not. One thing to note about this game, you need to throw all spatial logic out the window, because you are just going to get so stuck otherwise. You'll just be, like, backtracking and looping and everything all over the place here. It's not going to make sense, and you shouldn't try to make sense of it. It just doesn't, alright? So in any case, we're back here now. This is a laser. Hitting lasers you often trip mechanics and other stuff that... Well, there's lots of this stuff here, so... We just closed the door behind us. We can't get out. What do we have here? Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. Oh no, I am trapped. I am stuck. What do I do? Press escape. So this is how we get back to the antechamber, and we get another one, I think, if we uh, end up here. 
Uh, oh my god. Um, so this is the black worm. I have no idea what his role is, except to kind of just float around and be all mysterious and anti-matter-ish, I guess. If you don't like where you've ended up, try doing something else. So that's a freebie we've been given, and as you can see, we already filled up the wall a little bit here. That took about five minutes, so here we have a nice little uh, summary of all the places we've been. Into darkness, jump too far. So as you can kind of see, there are like little knobs and such that tell you places you can still go. So let's head back to the Leap of Faith. Walk. Oh, okay. So this is what it is. Yeah, you can walk across this. If you jump, you there's a strange flooring here, as you can see, and if you jump on it, it kind of disappears, and if you fall on it, it doesn't work. So this is the first puzzle, really, just walk instead of running. Well, no, you could run too, it's just don't jump. That's kind of neat, though, that they make that little change there. So what do we have here? Taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. So there you go, that's the first step. So. Um, in the video I watched, the guy went that way first, but what happens if I go this way? Whoa! What the hell? Aha, secret wall. Should've known. A dead end will only stop if you don't try to move through it. Fly? What, what do you mean, fly? I didn't fly! We fall down when there is nothing there to support us. Okay. I have two ways to go. Let's go green way. I cannot go green way. Okay, let's go blue way. What are we here? The path of least resistance is a valid option. Well, I can't go back now, it seems, so let's just keep going forward. Well, hello. Here's a puzzle that... I think you end up on eventually if you take the other path, so... Yeah, this is kind of confusing. Look at this. It's like a... I don't know how to get there yet. This is a blind run, as I've said before. And... Alright, so as you can see, there's these particles here. And... If we hit this... Uh, laser here... You can see there's a pair of doors over there. So, that one just closed, and this one opened up. But if I try to run for it, uh, these, this ball here does stuff because it's reacting to my movement. And these lasers come out, and then I end up closing that door. So, how do we get to that door over there? Let's trip this laser so that that door closes and that one stays open. Let me hold down shift, and let's walk. Yep, you just have to walk it. And there you go. So, what do we have here? Taking one path often means missing out on another. So yeah, we will have to come back this way to find out what's down that path eventually. Down these stairs. So, there's a glass floor here it seems. And a glass wall. And that should be the, yeah, I think that's the exit, isn't it? As you can see, there is like another hallway or something there. This is the kind of confusing stuff that just, like, really gets confusing after a short while. So, yeah, that's that one room down there. So if we keep walking forward, we'll find the end. Ah, frickin' heck. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, he knows I'm recording now, so that should be fine. So we're back here again, and now we know there's a floor here, and also a wall or something. So let's just walk along, and aha, we made it. What's this say? How we perceive a problem can change everything we see. Hmm. Alright, well... I, F, E... L I F E. Okay. Okay, I get it. You look at the symbol and then you back up through the door. Well, before I take on that, let's look here. Whoa. 
Okay, this looks really kind of awesome. What is this room? Uh, <laughs> MIA. Ooh. I'm just exploring now because this looks awesome. I like this room. This. Oh, look, it's Pong. Ha! Uh, I don't get it. What's that trying to say? Is that the window symbol? Uh, I don't know. This room is cool. This room is really cool. Is that a planetary system? No, I guess not. It's like some weird music time. Unfortunately, I only have an hour and a half of it. Not even that much anymore. Ooh, look at this. Oh, hello. There's the way I have to go, it seems. So let's go ahead and go through. Whoa. When you absorb your surroundings, you may notice things that you didn't see before. What happens if I go back through? Yeah. That's the thing about this game, you gotta like check all the different ways because otherwise you'll just get like really stuck. Or things you didn't see before. So this is all the same thing apparently. So what's here? Hmm. It's a maze. A maze which I'm really, really nervous of. What? what? Okay, wait, I went straight. Um, hmm. This is weird. Oh my. I don't like this maze. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck here a while, I can tell. Alright, if I go straight forward, then... So going straight there doesn't work. Going that way doesn't work. Hmm. If I go straight here, I just end up back there. Okay, so let's see here. Right, left, straight. That won't work. Oop, hello. Aha! Found it. If you never stop trying, you will get there eventually. Hooray! Uh oh, left or right? Uh, I choose left. Maybe not. And I'm going around in circles. Ever going around in circles? Whoop. Some choices can leave us running around in circles. I guess that means I'm stuck now. Alright, so if I keep going back this way... I guess I'm stuck here now? Let's try all the walls. Make sure one isn't just a secret. No, let's try the inside walls. Nope, I think I'm stuck. Alright, well that was a good deal of progress, so... Uh, let's see. Let's find one of these rooms and travel back to it. Stuck in a rut. Alright, so this was, uh... Finding the seams. So I got through that alright. Alright, so there was two extra paths here. Three paths in sight. So I went that way before. What happens if I go this way? Well, I can't go that way, apparently. Okay. Whoa. Well, there you go. That's how you... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's something else beyond there now, apparently. Crap. Okay, well, I'll know to come back here later. A few steps backwards may keep your moving forward. Alright. So what's this way? Uh, whoa, what? Huh. Okay. <clears throat> How do I... Oh! Whoa! What? Uh... Oh, that's really kind of neat. Awesome. A window of opportunity can lead to new places if you're willing to take a closer look. You see, this is why this game is so amazing. Oh god. I really do not know what that thing does. It scares me. Oh, 
I'm afraid it like kills you if you touch it. So what's this way? Kind of see what I have to do here. Hello, I made it. Look a little harder, and you will find a way forward. Aha! I opened the secret passage. Hello, what do we have here? Am I lost again? Apparently not. Alright. Just need to make sure I'm not as I'm as little lost as possible. Oop, here we go. Head this way. Uh oh. This is that place that lock thing was in. Venturing into the unknown can lead to great rewards. There used to be a door here. The end may come before we are ready to get there. Oh! Okay. What's this? Life isn't about getting to the end. Oh, you bastard. Well, I found the antichamber. Hello! Making some good progress, and I still have plenty of time left, too. Huh. Imagine that. Well, let's go through this door. 